This is the time of year that America celebrates the heritage of our Hispanic community. Memphis is a melting pot of cultures hailing from countries such as Mexico, Guatemala, Argentina, and beyond. Latino Americans share with us their rich and diverse culture through lively music, festivals, and authentic Latino food, among other things. They invite us to celebrate holidays with them, such as the Day of the Dead and Cinco de Mayo, which flourish with colorful clothes, dancing, and music. While modern-day Memphis benefits from the richness of the Hispanic culture, the influence actually began hundreds of years ago, long before there was a Memphis, only a vast land Europeans called the New World. European countries like Spain, France, and England sent expeditions to plunder the continent's resources and find land suitable for colonization. One of the earliest explorers was Spain's noted conquistador, Hernando de Soto. He landed his fleet of ships in West Florida in May of 1539. His expedition included hundreds of soldiers, priests, craftsmen, engineers, and teams of horses and hogs. They traveled up and down the southeast two years, oftentimes engaging in bloody battles with Native Americans who resisted his intrusion into their world. That is, until he hit his greatest awe-inspiring obstacle, the Mississippi River. Regardless of where he stood on the eastern bluff, the river was an obstacle between him and his journey west. He set his men to building barges strong enough to withstand the fierce current. Once they crossed the river, the expedition resumed. They traveled for about a year through Arkansas before they headed south. Their journey led them back along the river near where Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi converge. It was there that DeSoto became ill with a fever. He died on May 21, 1542. His men laid him to rest in the river.